We're here at Space 2007 with comic book creator Paul Hornschmeyer. Hi, Paul. Hi. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what got you into comics in the first place? Um, just depression, uh, boredom, uh, I think all the essential ingredients. Um, I think, uh, really it was just from reading, you know, I read a lot of Steve Ditko reprints of Spider-Man when I was a little kid, and my mother had, you know, things like Edward Gorey collections and Charles Adams and stuff that I think stem mainly from The New Yorker. So that's really why I got interested in comics, what really got me... Creating. Start, yeah, creating them. Uh, I drew superhero comics when I was a teenager, and sort of my stories kind of went from being superhero to science fiction to just fiction. And uh, yeah, then it was basically I kind of stopped doing comics, and around college, uh, somebody got me a copy of uh, Ghost World by Dan Klaus, and realized, you know, hey, you know, this is kind of more what that what I was doing, because I really didn't realize that was possible, um, doing those sort of stories and actually getting them out into the world didn't seem like a viable option, so uh, yeah, I started doing my own stuff, started self-publishing a series called Sequential, which I did for a couple years, and then uh, started doing another series called Forlorn Funnies, which is basically what I'm doing now. So, so what types of stories do oh, you do? Actually, side note, uh, Sequential 7, Stand on a Mountain Look Back, was nominated for a Day Prize. Terrific. Congratulations. Yes, yes it's true. I have a little plaque uh, for and the I Day Prize. <laughs> um, uh, yes, I had no idea. Um, yeah, well, I mean, Sequential was sort of a lot of very, very short stories. Typically, it was one to maybe six pages, um, ranging from comedic to just bizarre experimental stuff. Forlorn and Funnies, uh, one of the main stories that got a fair amount of attention was Mother Come Home, which is a story about a son and his, a, a child and his father sort of dealing with the uh, death of the mother of the family and the father sort of not dealing with the death very well. So um, I would say in general my stories tend to be uh, bleak. Uh, maybe a little depressing. Uh, I'm trying to get more comedy back into my stories. The comedy sort of got lost somewhere along the road. But <laughs> well, then don't take this the wrong way. But do you draw on personal experiences in this? Thing? Um, well, no. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, Mother Come Home did come from a lot of personal experiences and uh, has a lot of biographical and autobiographical elements from me and from my family. So yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's anybody who does anything in comics or in movies or in music, if it's going to be good, it kind of has to come from you, you know, it kind of has to be from personal experience. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of my stuff, even the stuff that seems completely rid ridiculous or surrealistic, there's some element of my life in it, so, yeah. That's terrific. Do you have one particular work that uh, you're most proud of, or do you want to spotlight here? Um, I mean, I'm always fond of saying the only thing I like is the thing that I haven't finished yet. But um, which up until yesterday was three yes, paradoxes. exactly. So I mean, I would say that the three paradoxes, uh, which is debuting at this show. Um, what is that about? Uh, it's basically it's about me and my father. It's um, well, I would say it's unfortunately it's mainly about me. It's totally uh, narcissistic, but uh, aren't all comics? Um, it's uh, basically about me going home visiting my father, but also sort of re-exploring the town that I grew up in and kind of reliving reliving and remembering some of the stories that, you know, kind of shaped me and taking a look at, you know, how much have I progressed, how much can anybody progress, and it sort of fractures into five different stories about me, my past life, uh, a random person that we meet while we're going on this walk through my town, their past life. And kind of just looking at change and progress in people's lives and kind of this, you know, just a small town setting. So I would say the three paradoxes is probably probably the one thing I'm most proud of right now. But, you know, check and back with me in a week. What about the <laughs> living with that? Now, is living with uh, Mr. Dangerous, is that still life, going? Life with Mr. Life with Mr. Dangerous, is that yeah. still ongoing? Mm -hmm. that's, so that's, uh, Life with Mr. Dangerous is being serialized in Malm. Um, so, I mean, have you finished it? Are you still working on it? No, I'm, right finish, I'm finishing that uh, over the next few months, and then that's going to be, uh, I should say, that's projected to be finished over the next few months. Uh, one thing I'm not doing is giving any finished date, but 
uh, that will be collected by Random House Valentine Books uh, next year. So that's the plan right now. Well, terrific. We appreciate you taking the time to yeah. talk to us. No and then problem. we look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. All right. Well, thanks. All right.